welcome all of you here today. We're here because God told us to be here. We're here to defend marriage between one man and one woman. Without the support of my wife, Audrey, I sometimes call her St. Audrey because she puts up with me. But thanks, Audrey. I know I miss it now and then. But I'll tell you now why I am here and why we are here. We know who the bullies are. They're not here. They're across the street. Why? Why is the press misleading everyone? The real heroes in front of us today are standing by here and they will be speaking. The reason I wanted this rally is in defense of my grandchildren because I don't want them taught and propagandized and told that the homosexual lifestyle is equivalent to marriage, which it isn't. One man and one woman are incapable of sin if they do it according to God's will. Two men and two women living together in a civil union create nothing but havoc for society. We must take back Chicago and Illinois because the politicians put forth a bill, Civil Union 17, 16, that the real people that were voted in office were not allowed to vote. In Madigan and with the help of Governor Quinn, they forced that bill down our throats. We are here to say today, we're going to defend marriage and we will not let Governor Quinn, Madigan, and the Gay Coalition, Buffalo, Dick Walsh, or anyone else in the state of Illinois. I'll have things to say as this goes along, but believe me, I knew two or three homosexuals in my lifetime. I loved them as a person. In fact, I was at the only one at the funeral parlor at the wake of my good friend Bob. Where were their friends? Where was Ryan or Quinn? Where was Madigan? They weren't there because they got their money, their kickback already from the gay coalition. That's all they wanted. Now, I would like to bring you Hiram Crawford, Jr. His father, Hiram Crawford I, was a leader in the black community that stood up when they tried to take the nativity time, the nativity scene down in downtown he stood up to them. He said, put the Mary and Jesus back where they belong. He fought them in court and he won. Hiram, I'm glad to be your friend and your father was, he was my, he, he taught me what is right and wrong. Hiram, let's welcome Hiram Crawford. We want to thank the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ who allowed us to truly know what it means to have the love of God that surpasses all understanding. You know, back in the 60s when my father and the many that invited Dr. King to come to Chicago, the beautiful thing was the Dr. King, Dr. Martin Luther King, was a family man. Amen. And he understood the value of the family. And he worked with us. And for those that are here today, 
that want to see the love of God manifest itself in our families, we will be much, much more increased. We gotta go home and get those that are not here to understand the importance of standing up for life and righteousness. One of the beautiful things about working with Dr. King was he would always tell us that if, if you can't uh, understand the peace, then you stay here in the church and pray. And those of us that are going out on the march, we could take the rocks, we could take the spitting and all the abuse we would take because it was the love of God. And that's the beauty of us here, to understand it's that love of God. Amen. And I just want uh, Brother George Pope to stand up. He came with us today. Tremendous tra testimony of a young man that loves the Lord with all his heart. Worked with us. And God had delivered him from the sodomite lifestyle. One of the leaders in that community back in those days. But over 20 years, he has been set free. And he's a testimony of how Jesus Christ can change life. That's what we're about, changing life, living the life of Christ. Let's go forth and be the disciples of Jesus Christ. We want to thank Dick for taking a bold stand. It takes men like Dick to stand up regardless of what the opposition says and speak up. Let's thank God for what God is doing. Lord, bless Brother Dick and bless the purpose for our meeting. Let's go and let our legislatures know that right is right regardless of what they vote. Amen. God bless you.